Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Rex's Adventure. And today's going to be a real adventure because I'm here in Colorado Springs and I'm going to try and do the incline, which is 2,768 steps at a 2,000 uh, altitude climb and see if I can do it. I'm not sure I can do it, but we're going to try it. So I'm getting over to it now. I have to kind of hike down here and we'll be on the incline here pretty soon. There's the Cog Railroad is what we're going to be doing tomorrow. Going up Pikes Peak. But now I've got 300 feet downhill here to get to the entrance to the incline. Can't quite see it yet. But we'll be there here shortly. Okay, I'm here at the incline entrance. You can see it going up there. See people going. Here's the entrance. And there's the first steps. So let's get going. Well, I'm heading up to the steps. You can see the trail up there. Feel a little winded. This is just a little path going up to it. Got to take a lot of breaks today. See if I can do it. Okay, this is actually the start of the trail. Over here and get a little information. Summit's going to be 8,550 feet. All right, 6,600 right now. It's the beginning of the trail. Let's see what we can do. up the trail. Just a little bit at a time. Something I don't believe I started with. I started at 9.26 this morning. Man, I'm already winded. I don't know if I can do this or not, but we'll keep going. Well, first 400 steps complete. Here's the bailout trail northern return trail stopping to catch my breath so still a long way up you can see There's 500. Well, you can see just right there is the 400 step first bailout point. I can see why they put it there. I'm already getting amazing views. He's moving. It's on up. A little bit more of a break to catch my breath, though. 
Okay, just an update. I'm just to a thousand feet or a thousand steps. There's all the way up, if you can see that. We're halfway up the trail. This is the cutoff trail or the bailout trail if you want to quit. Met a really nice guy. He's carrying a parrot up here. He said he lives up here. Come show me a trick of taking a step and resting. That helped me get halfway up. I'm going to keep going, see where I can get. Look at that here, taking my shirt off because I'm sweating really bad. The altitude's getting me more than anything. Let me step out here. Okay, I'm over halfway up. I didn't think I was going to make it. I was ready to bail out at halfway. And a nice guy with a parrot, <laughs> don't know his name, kind of showed me how to take my time and do steps. And because of that, I think I can make it now. I'm resting right now. It's up there. Man, I was in pretty bad shape at 800 steps, but going pretty good now. Starting to get harder now. Went up the really high incline. Could do one step at a time. Over oh, halfway up. Wonderful views. Starting to get rhythm now. Still gonna go all the way up there. They said when you see the top, or when you think you're at the top, there's about another 400 steps. But I'm getting there. It really works. Take another step, walk that back leg, pull back, go forward, pull back, go forward. Okay. And uh, if you just kind of rest, it could be a half second, it could be two or three seconds. I saw a guy once. Okay. We're over 2,000 steps. You can see the great view and everything we're at. Everybody's passing me. But that doesn't matter. Going at my own pace. Didn't think I was going to make it even this far, but one step at a time. I'm going to make it to the top now. There's the top. There are no more bailouts. I've got to go all the way up. So here we go. 2,300 steps. Where I'm at. And there's 2,768. But we're high up. The altitude makes it hard to breathe. You can kind of see, I can't even see over the incline now. I can only see up, so let's keep moving. Okay. There's the 2700 step mark, right there. About 40 more steps, 40, 50 more steps. Okay, I made it to the top. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I made it up the incline. Didn't think I was going to, but I made it. I'm here at the top. You can see in the background. Sorry, I got my shirt off. I was sweating so bad I had to. I've still got the trail to go down, but I can do that. It took me four hours to get up. Most people do it in an hour, maybe two, but I doubled that, but I still made it. So I'm gonna start down the trail and head back. Well, headed down the bar trail. I don't know, maybe a quarter of a way down. Gonna see back over in there, I got ways to go. Oh, getting the leg cramp. Stopped here for a minute. Been using my other GoPro on my backpack. I thought I better get this out because I never know what kind of video I'm getting. You can see, man, beautiful view. We're gonna head on down. Don't see too many people on the trail. There's a couple just past me. I'm slow. That's the way it's been all day. Probably continue to be, but that's okay. I get where I'm going. So keep on heading on down the trail here to get down to the bottom. As you can see there, same as going up. Everybody passes me, but I'm in my own pace. Just trying to get through it. <laughs> And my knees are hurting, so slow going for me, but I'll make it down. This is really an interesting hike down, too. The views here are great. The trail is great. It's It's been a fun day. It's going to take a while to recover from this, but... It's really fun. Well, I'll check back in later. Okay. You can see the parking lot right down in there. That's where I'm headed. Looks like I might be about halfway down. It's hard to tell. Right off over in there, great view of Garden of the Gods. Great view of everything, I guess. I can't see the incline, but it's just right over there. Well, keep on moving. Okay, there's a sign. You see where the bar trail is to the left where I came off of. Bar trail to the left going down, which is where I'm going, to the incline at step 1800. I gotta go over here and look. You can see some people doing it. This has to be, yeah, there's the incline that I went up. But I'm going to stay on the trail going down, so let's keep on going down the trail. I've had enough of the incline for today. Off I go. Well, just an update. I'm still on the trail. Still coming down. Don't have a sense of about where I'm at. I was at the third bale off where they come off the incline, but that's been a little bit ago. I've been on this trail for going on 54 minutes. So I know I don't get down near as fast as anybody else because I'm slow, but I'm making my way down give another update when I can get down here and have something to see. You can see I'm still way up here. Just take some time to get down. Well, I've been coming down the trail off the incline. 
for about an hour and two minutes, hour and three minutes, something like that. And it says I've walked 1.8 miles and this is a 3.5 mile trail. So I'm close to halfway down. So it's going to be about another hour, maybe a little more. So I'm making it. Well, I'm an hour and 27 minutes into my climb down. You can see where I'm at. Have to circle around here, I'm sure, quite a bit. You can kind of see the train down there. The Garden of the Gods again. <laughs> Sound like Chevy Chase. Look, kids, Garden of the Gods. Big man. <laughs> so I'm going to keep on circling around. The incline was up top of that. So you can see how far I've come down. So keep on going. Trail here is really nice. A few steps I have to kind of watch with the big rocks and slipping, but took a break back up a little ways. Talked to a nice guy from Washington, D.C., and he had just had a knee replacement four weeks ago. He's waiting for his family. Doing pretty good, though. He made it this far up the trail just to wait for him. They may end up passing me on the way down because I think they weren't too far behind me is what he said. And I go awfully slow. It's nice and cool. Sun goes in and out. When the sun comes out, it's hot, but can see still great views out there having a good time the stopping and talking with him helped my hip so now I'm going pretty good again says I've gone 2.34 miles so still got a little over a mile to do but I'm making it well, we'll come back later we'll see where we're at is a sign if you're going up top of incline four miles bar camp seven miles more overnight accommodation fee required pikes peak summit 13 miles wow you can see i'm just about down to the bottom so i'm on my last little uh, stage here a lot of steps going down making my hip hurt but i'm making it and we're gonna make it to the bottom i'm sure yeah there's the there's the parking lot right there so we're down now let's just wait for my ride okay well my day started right down here that's where i got out of the car was right at the kind of where that you see the train then over straight across where those three cars are parked parallel facing me that's where I started my day and now I'm coming back to end the day so I'm getting there little by little